the fray. I say I'm living on the fringe. Mm. Yeah. All right. So up next, we have a performance by Marianne Emma Jeff. And um, for our high def friends um, who were with us last year, Marianne Emma Jeff uh, performed a play last year called The Zen of Hot Yoga. And it was the audience choice winner for uh, the High Desert Fringe 2019. Yep. So this year she's back with a new show called It's a Knockout. And a uh, quick little bio on uh, Marianne. She is the CEO of the Women's Business Momentum Center. And she's the number one bestseller of Brand Me and Get It Done, The Diva's Guide to Business. And she also lives, I believe, in La Quinta, California. So live from the lower desert, we have Marianne Emma Jeff. <laughs> Hi, welcome Hi. to High Fringe. Thank you. Yay. Thank you so much <laughs> for doing it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, we're going to put you in the spotlight video. And uh, without further ado, it's a knockout. Thank you. All right, everybody. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to pair you up for class today. And I want you to go out and I want you to observe people. Notice how they interact. What are they dressed in? Where do you think they might be going? What's their story? This is an excellent exercise for developing characters. A lot of people don't even know who they are. Ola, yes, this includes you. Now, I want you to go to places where there is a lot of people so you can really mine for gold here. Maybe the train station, Broadmarsh shopping center, or a museum. Really take lots of notes. Make really good use of this time and bring the notes to class and I'll tell you what to do with them next week. Now, Ola, you go with Marianne. Penny, you with Jim. Hey, Ola, wanna go to the pub? Let me tell you a little bit about Ola. See, Ola joined the drama program at Clarendon College when we were already six months into the first year. And within a couple of hours, she was the most popular girl in class. Ola walked into a room with confidence. She had shoulder length, light brown curls, angular cheekbones. She was strong and sexy, and she had an Irish accent that screamed, don't fuck with me. There was rumors that she had connections to the IRA, and none of us dared to question her. She was a badass, and I was fascinated by her. After a couple of hours of observing each other over pints, fun, Ola and I had bonded over beer and cigarettes. I was doing my best to exude an air of mystery and I could tell Ola was intrigued. And then we went into the bathroom. We went to fix our lipstick and I reached into my pocket and I pulled out the grass that my aunt had sent me in the mail for my 16th birthday. And I began to roll a joint like I knew what I was doing. I didn't know you smoked pot. Well, I'm not gonna scuttle on the floor with the rats for it when you're throwing it out in the bathroom. But if you offer me some, I won't say no. You see, I'd watched as Ola in the first couple of weeks of class had worked it with no effort at all. Like in the girl's bathroom, she sat on the floor, surrounded by wide-eyed girls, smoking a joint down to the nub and then licking the minute nub across the bathroom floor. And that prompted her surrounding entourage to scuttle like rats, elbows flying in the air, diving into each other in this mad scramble to retrieve the nub while I stood there slowly, 
washing my hands. As we moved on to the next pub, we went to the upstairs balcony and we're finding a table in a bar called Yates's in the center of town. As I look down at Nottingham Town Square, it's a flurry of activity as men and women stumble and seduce their way across the town square. Get your tits out for the lad. Tessa is the familiar tune on any given night. Ola commands some friends to join us and they chat amongst themselves as I lean into a conversation about Stanislavski with Ola. Everyone else just fades into the background. I can feel, feel the alcohol in my body and it's blurring and, and distorting all the noise around me as I look into Ola's deep, mysterious brown eyes. And then I hear this voice, it's, it's really close and it sounds really familiar, it sounds just like me. And it says, I have lesbian tendencies towards you. Ola stares at me, frozen for two very long seconds. While in my head, I'm thinking, who said that? That wasn't me. Why would I say that? That, that doesn't make any sense. I would know. I, I would have planned it out if it was me. What just happened? I don't feel that way. I like men. I've certainly had my fair share. Well, even, even if I did feel that way. What the fuck kind of a way is that to say it? I have lesbian tendencies towards you? What am I, a robot? It was me, wasn't it? Shit, I didn't mean it. What am I gonna do? What is everybody gonna think at college? I have lesbian tendencies towards you? Ola is going to kick my ass. Ola leans back, scrunching up her nose as if there is a really bad stench in the room. What the fuck? Everybody at the table is staring at me with their mouths wide open in silence. Let's get out of here. They down their drinks, grab their bags and head out the door. I watch as their heads bob through the crowd and get your tits out for the lads, piss off. Suddenly, I'm feeling very sober, like someone's just thrown ice water in my face. So I order a shot of Jaeger, throw it down my throat, and the warmth in my belly feels comforting. I gotta fix this, I gotta fix this. I'm gonna to talk to Ola. I will go to Rock City, that's the club they're going to next, and I'll, I'll tell her I was just joking or, or I'm, I'm really drunk. I've gotta fix this. I've gotta fix this before everybody at college finds out. What are, what are they gonna think? I'm gonna be ostracized. I'm gonna be laughed at. I'll become Marianne the girl they hang out with when no one else is around. Marianne, the girl that hits on everyone. I go to Rock City. I sit at the bar and I am tempted to go to the dance floor. Oh, I just wanna forget all of this happened. I wanna go back to the good times. I wanna rewind. I want to just immerse myself in the music. I want to sing along with the crowd and flow and sing with every drunken, dulcet tone in the lyrics, but I can't. My confidence is shot. My life is in turmoil. I don't even know who I am anymore. So I order a pint. I grab onto it and I make my way to the other side of the throbbing dance floor. With each sip of warm cider, my confidence grows. My goal feels more attainable. And then, and then I see Ola in the middle 
of the heaving dance floor. I bob my way over, positioning myself so I can accidentally come across her. Hiya! I don't know why I said what I said. I must be really pissed. All this right arm swings around decisively and slaps me hard across my right cheek. I'm thrown suddenly into fight or flight mode and somehow with drunken confidence, I decide to fight. I lunge forward with my nails and miss grasping the back of her hair. She shakes me free and grabs onto the back of mine, yanking back my neck. Then she lets go and holds on tightly to my shoulders and throws me to the floor. She crouches over to me and gets ready to spit in my face. When suddenly, two bounces pull her off me like a piece of fluff. The dance floor parts like the Red Sea as she's escorted out. And she never spoke to me again. Marianne, Emma, Jeff. Hi. Thank you. Thank that you. Was great. <laughs> Oh, I love your adventures. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. So well, we're going to look forward to having you back with us live next year at the Fringe. Yeah. Uh, and maybe we'll get more of your adventures. It's yeah. Kind of That's part of a longer piece called the Zen of Hot Yoga. So I'm sorry, the Zen of Red Wine. And oh, so, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so looking forward to that. Thanks again for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for being here. Oh, you're so welcome. Have a great day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. You say I'm living on the fray. I say I'm living on the fringe.